Hello and welcome to Evening Prayer on this Monday, the feast day of St. Mark the Evangelist. St. Mark, one of the four gospel writers, and a uh, he was born right about the time that uh, Jesus was found at the temple as a young boy. So he's a, a bit younger uh, than Jesus and his disciples, but he was a uh, he had a cousin named Barnabas. His cousin was one of Paul's <coughs> friends, confidants, and and uh, fellow evangelists uh, as he traveled around. And Mark actually did travel with Paul and Barnabas for a short time, but he hung out mostly uh, with Saint Peter. Uh, Saint Mark was a uh, a uh, an avid listener to St. Peter and a translator for him as he traveled a bit. And so we have uh, a very close-knit family sort of uh, group here with uh, uh, the early church. You know, we had four brothers, right? Two, two sets of brothers, James and John and Andrew and Simon. And now we have Barnabas and Mark, cousins. Um, so, you know, it's all in the family back then, apparently. But Mark, uh, Mark's gospel is the shortest of the four gospels, a very succinct way of writing, short sentences, not real flowery, uh, right to the point, uh, sometimes called the action gospel. Uh, one thing after another, boom, 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 no nonsense, no messing around, just everything uh, right to the point, direct. Uh, so, St. Mark, thank you for your words, your wisdom, and your, your giving your life over to the cause of Jesus Christ. And uh, so we have uh, uh, your works to still reflect on today and learn from. So we thank St. Mark and we ask his intercession today on, on this, his feast day. St. Mark, pray for us. Our readings today, our first reading from the first letter of St. Peter, this is actually towards the end of that first letter from Peter, where he's uh, reminding us to be humble and also telling us to be wary of the evils of the devil prowling about, seeking to devour us, it says. And then he also reminds us, too, that, you know, suffering is just part of uh, life. And we are called to suffer just as Christ suffered. And, you know, we have this thing that we call redemptive suffering. When we have uh, anything in our life that's bothering us or, you know, we're finding a, a rough way to go, just know that you're not alone, that uh, you're, you're surrounded by fellow sufferers, if you will. And when we offer our sufferings up, maybe for the good of someone who might be suffering even more than us. There's reward to that. There's blessings in that. There are graces to be had by not complaining, but bearing our sufferings joyfully and joining them with our Lord's sufferings. The gospel today is uh, from Mark, and it's the... Uh, the last little homily that we hear from Jesus before he returns to the Father, the feast of his ascension into heaven. And uh, he, uh, you know, he when he was leaving to go to heaven, he didn't just say, bye, see you guys, been nice, have a great time, uh, see you later. No, he, uh, he put them on mission. <coughs> he told them to go. Go and declare the good news to preach the gospel everywhere to everyone. And uh, that's our mission too. Our mission is to, uh, to do whatever we can to spread the gospel of the Lord. And like St. Francis says, uh, use words when necessary. So our very lives should reflect the light of God's love. Uh, in all that we say, all that we do, all that we think, all of our, all of our lives should be um, 
an illumination of God's love. So let us pray, pray our evening prayer together. Sorry, I'm so I'm still uh, suffering from all these allergies, and it makes uh, speaking a little bit cumbersome for me. Uh, I did go to the doctor today. I'm going to the pharmacy as soon as we're done here to pick up some fresh new medications in hopes that uh, this is going to uh, to uh, knock these allergies down and and get me back on the uh, uh, on the, a healing path. So I ask for your prayers too, as uh, as uh, we uh, we pray our evening prayer together today. Yeah, I'm suffering, but uh, let me offer mine up too, right? If I'm going to tell y'all how to do things, I better be ready to to do it myself as well, right? Do as I say and as I do, not either or, but both and. Anyway, let us pray. In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Spirit, amen. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. My life is at the service of the gospel. God has given me this gift of his grace. Alleluia. I trusted even when I said, I am sorely afflicted. And when I said in my alarm, no man can be trusted. How can I repay the Lord for his goodness to me? The cup of salvation I will raise. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. O precious in the eyes of the Lord is the death of his faithful. Your servant, Lord, your servant am I. You have loosened my bonds. A thanksgiving sacrifice I make. I will call on the Lord's name. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. In the courts of the house of the Lord, in your midst, O Jerusalem. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Father, precious in your sight is the death of the saints, but precious above all is the love with which Christ suffered to redeem us. In this life, we will fill up in our own flesh what is still lacking in the sufferings of Christ. Accept this as our sacrifice of praise, and we shall, even now, taste the joy of the new Jerusalem. My life is at the service of the gospel. God has given me this gift of his grace. Hallelujah. I do all this for the sake of the gospel, in order to share in its rewards. Hallelujah. When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seemed like a dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter. On our lips there were songs. The heathens themselves said, What marvels the Lord worked for them! What marvels the Lord worked for us! Indeed, we were glad. Deliver us, O Lord, from our bondage, as streams in dry land. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. They go out. They go out full of tears, carrying seed for the sowing. They come back. They come back full of song, carrying their sheaves. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, you have raised us from the earth. May you let the seeds of justice, which we have sown in tears, Grow and increase in your sight. May we reap in joy the harvest we hope for patiently. I do all this for the sake of the gospel, in order to share in its rewards. Alleluia. This grace has been given to me to proclaim to the nations the infinite riches of Christ. Alleluia. Praise be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has bestowed on us in Christ every spiritual blessing in the heavens. 
God chose us in him before the world began to be holy and blameless in his sight. He predestined us to be his adopted sons through Jesus Christ. Such was his will and pleasure that <coughs> that all might praise the glorious favor he has bestowed on us in his beloved. In him and through his blood we have been redeemed and our sins forgiven. So immeasurably generous is God's favor to us. God has given us the wisdom to understand fully the mystery, the plan he was pleased to decree in Christ, a plan to be carried out in Christ in the fullness of time, to bring all things into one in him, in the heavens and on earth. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. This grace has been given to me to proclaim to the nations the infinite riches of Christ. Alleluia. A reading from St. Paul's letter to the Colossians. <clears throat> we always give thanks to God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, in our prayers for you because we have heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and the love you bear toward all the saints. Moved as you are by the hope held in store for you in heaven, you heard of this hope through the message of truth, the gospel, which has come to you, has borne fruit, and has continued to grow in your midst as it has everywhere in the world. Tell all the nations how glorious God is. Alleluia, alleluia. Tell all the nations how glorious God is. Alleluia, alleluia. Make known his wonders to every people. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Tell all the nations how glorious God is. Alleluia, alleluia. The word of the Lord shall endure forever. This is the message which has been proclaimed. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich. He has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The word of the Lord shall endure forever. This is the message which has been proclaimed. Alleluia. Our God is the Father of light. Through the good news of his Son, he has called us to believe in the truth. Let us pray now for his holy people as we say, Lord, remember your church. Father, you raised your Son, our good shepherd, from the dead. Make us his witnesses to the ends of the earth. Lord, remember your church. You sent your Son into the world to bring good news to the poor. Give us courage to bring that good news to all peoples. Lord, remember your church. You sent your Son to sow the word of life. Help us to sow his word <coughs> and to reap its harvest with joy. Lord, remember your church. You sent your Son to make the world one through his blood. May all of us work together for this unity. 
Lord, remember your church. You set your Son at your right hand in the heavens. Open the gates of your kingdom to those who have died. Lord, remember your church. Gathering our prayer and praises into one, let us offer the prayer that Christ himself taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Father, you gave St. Mark the privilege of proclaiming your gospel. May we profit by his wisdom and follow Christ more faithfully. <coughs> Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. <coughs> May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you all, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. And now I'm off to the drugstore. See you tomorrow.